Hello everyone, welcome back. In the preceding video, we used the factorial example to demonstrate recursion. In this video, we will give another example of using recursion. This example involves the famous Fibonacci numbers. Fibonacci numbers is a sequence of numbers that begins with zero and one. Any number in the sequence after the first two is the sum of the previous two numbers. For example, 13 is derived from the previous two numbers, five and eight and five plus eight. 21 is derived from eight plus 13. Fibonacci numbers are defined using recursion as follows. For the Fibonacci number at this index zero and the number is zero and for the number at index one, it is one. And for the Fibonacci number at index, given index, index, and the Fibonacci number is the previous two is Fib index minus one plus Fib index minus two. Here's the uh, recursive method that implements this recursive function. And this is the method and a FIB at a given index. If index zero returns zero, if index is one, returns one, else returns FIB index minus one plus FIB index minus two. It is important to note that we use the example to demonstrate how recursion works. The implementation of using recursion for this problem is not efficient because it involves many recursive calls. This diagram shows how FIB4 is computed. FIB4, in order to compute FIB4, we have to compute FIB3 and FIB2. In order to compute FIB3, we're going to compute FIB2 and FIB1. In order to compute FIB2, we have to compute FIB1 and FIB0. Each of this computing for FIB, it is a function call. So there are many, many function calls involved and for computing a Fibonacci number. And this is why it is not efficient. We will have a more efficient implementation for finding Fibonacci numbers in chapter 22. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next video.